McCaskey. I'm Carol Larson. Thank you for joining us. A hard hit on the field nearly took his life. Now we're learning more about the condition of the Tulane University football player seriously injured during Saturday's game in Tulsa. Devin Walker is recovering from spinal surgery at St. Francis Hospital. We're told he's now alert and responsive. Two News reporter Patricia Santos is live outside the hospital where a news conference just wrapped up. Well, that meeting wrapped up here just a short while ago, and we heard from Tulane University Athletics Director Rick Dixon, who spoke on behalf of Walker's family. Now, he tells us the family is very appreciative of all of the support they've received so far. 21-year-old Walker was injured during a collision with one of his own teammates. Now, here you see emergency crews putting him into an ambulance at H.A. Chapman Stadium. Now, this weekend, he underwent spinal surgery at St. Francis, but doctors say it's too soon to say what the lasting effects will be. Now, Walker is in stable condition, and Dixon says he is alert and responsive. It is too, er too early in Devin's recovery process to draw any conclusions about his progress. When the neurosurgeons here at St. Fra Francis have more definitive information, they will, in, cult in consultation with Tulane's team doctor, Greg Stewart, make it available. Meanwhile, Tulane University and Tulsa University have both opened up donation funds to help the family with expenses. You can find that information on our website, kjrh.com. Now, Walker, we're told, was a walk-on into the football team. He earned a starting position and a scholarship. We're told he is a cell and molecular biology major with hopes of becoming a pharmacist. Live in South Tulsa, Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you. Oh, we certainly wish him well, Patricia, thanks.